Okay, have another unboxing from the Grain Maker Company. Start off with this one small one. So this is probably the width that I ordered. It's like a hopper cover. Okay, they might put the hopper thing in here for this one. I think things look so much smaller online than when you get them here. It's like, oh my gosh. So, yep, this here is the new hopper cover for the Grain Maker. The Grain Maker Mill. This here is a flaker from the Grain Maker Company. Bitterroot Bitter Root Tool Company in Montana, aka Grain Maker. And I don't know how I'm going to get this thing out of here. Here is a safety guard. One came with this. I don't use it. Only because it just makes so much noise. So what we got here. Here is the um, well. You put it in the hopper here, so you can't get your fingers in there. You don't want to get your fingers caught up in this thing. You want to get them back. And here is the uh, the hopper lid. some screws and a little detail brush to get off flour. chintzy on their website, which I didn't care. I'd probably never use this. But you never know. But man, that's 
Remember, if you've seen my unboxing video for the motor for this mill, and then I did an unboxing for this mill too, which I gotta upload on this particular YouTube channel. Um, but I did an unboxing for the motor, and I called this the H1 Hummer of grain, home grain mills. And it is. And this is like the H1 Hummer of flakers. And what a flaker is, is you make oatmeal with it. It's, it's just a roll, two rollers, and it squeezes the grain. We got a handle. The flywheels are both the same. The old motor that I had on this, I'm going to try it on this and see if it works. Hopefully it will. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And this will be the handle for the, uh, well, I'll turn it by hand because I like hand powered stuff. I just do. I like, uh, it's, I think it's very nostalgic, but it also has utility to it. So, uh, well, because I'm going to have to lower this thing down on the floor. It's just, this thing weighs a ton. Of course, not literally. There's my documents. Bear with me here, these things weigh the ton. I figure out how to get safely out of the box. You know? which is good. They have this box. Here I'm biting with it. So remember this. They have the box, but it looks like a box inside of a box. It is, but it isn't. Watch this. This just pulls right up. The bottom is, you know, obviously empty. So you don't gotta struggle so hard to pull it out of the box like I was just doing. You just reach in there. Hummer here. It's green so I think. Um scissors. Yeah, this thing is definitely an H1 Hummer of flakers. I've seen other flakers and I'm sure they work well, but I just wanted something more durable for one and for two. I really want to support this company. I'd really like to order their other green maker, but um, that remains to be seen. I'm not getting any younger and this will probably last me the rest. Well, it won't probably, it will last me the rest of my life. Just as this will. And I'm getting old. And I think about putting away for retirement or something. I'm gonna spend all my money at Green Bay. <laughs> this is it right here. heavy duty. Oh wow. This is well, I didn't realize it has a bead control here on the side. So you put your grain in once you get it going. But it looks like you can cut it off too. And uh, well, the 
their 116 model, which is a bigger version of this grain mill. Um, it has a slide chute like that. I can see where that comes in handy. So, we got it bolted down to a piece of plywood here. So that chute that I showed you, it comes with two pieces. Um, this here, I need to get off subject, but this here actually, you have to order this separately. This does not come with it. You don't have to order these. I was wondering why they cost a bit much, but this is a nice, good chunk, clean chunk of wood too. So very beautifully done. <coughs> now keep the bugs out too, or not so much bugs, but mice. But anyway, it's, it's good to have a hopper on these, just so it's not wide open to everything. So yes, it comes with. Um, a collection, stainless steel collection piece for your flake cranes. So you can just put that in there like so. And this is how you can just pull back and then find where it makes make up with the knob and this is basically where you can adjust like how thin or thick you want your uh, your your oatmeal to be. That's what a flaker is. It makes oatmeal. And when uh, from what I understand, I've never had fresh oatmeal in my life. So the only oatmeal I've ever had is the garbage you get in the store, which is devoid of a bunch of nutrients and it takes on the taste of the, the cardboard packaging. This here is different. It's fresh. This here is if you're really wanting to make a ton of grain, you can, or grain, I'm sorry, a ton of oats, you can do that. Like if you got farm animals you want to crack grain for or whatnot, you need a lot of it. That's where this comes in handy. There's two little screws back there that engage these, and you just gotta, you may have to pull them out of it. There we go. And there's that. You got all the screws there. And that there is so you can put like a bucket or whatever in front of it and just mass produce your flaked grains or flaked oatmeal. And that's what that's for. Or you can use this if you're just making a little bit. And here is the handle for hand cranking this, but it can also be motorized. It's got the, just like this came with, it's got the, the V-belt pulley here. And this here is the handle to hand crank it. Just bolt it on like so. And wow, that's a, that's a long reach. <laughs> This would probably be the size handle you need for this, for the, the bigger auger. Then, they say if you want to do a lot of grain, or you know, flake a lot of grains or oats at once, this does come off, and be careful you don't lose the little nylon pieces. As the older I get, as I'm getting old, I get more clumsy. I have to lose things much easier. <laughs> I guess it comes off. Wow, well, those are some heavy duty rollers. Wow.
do come out if I need them to. Which is good, because then I can clean these up whenever I need to. It won't be so difficult to clean them up. But this here is a very heavy duty flavor. Yeah, you do not want to get your fingers caught in here. And before I close the video, you'll find out what's in the envelope, and then I'll hold the camera over here so you can see these rollers. This thing is heavy. All right. I believe I still got all my paperwork for my grain maker. So you get, um, you get a um, Christian track. Uh, little recipe book and then you got your registration card please return within 90 days from date and it was purchased All right, and then you get your owner's manual and it basically shows you all your parts Raper bars. That's not that in itself. Honey oatmeal bread. So it's got a recipe in there. And you can order extra, uh, extra rollers if you're that type of person to extra, order extra parts, which I am. And you know you can order extra parts. I ordered extra burgers for this just to have them. So yes, this here is a beautiful, beautiful flavor and I've been looking forward to getting it. So I'll leave these scraper bars off and I will bring the camera here so you can see the, uh, get it up close here of everything. There's an knob where you adjust it and pull back. You see where the little in, uh, lines are, you just pull it back in whatever thickness you want. Then you release it and get it, align it with the peg. And here's where you put your handle. Yeah, this will be very easy to clean to swap between gluten-free and non-gluten-free, so that's good. So here's the rollers. Okay. And then as, as you adjust this, you can see them move in and out. So you can make them very thin, like almost instant oatmeal, or you can go quite thick too, like, like so. These here, don't forget to put these back. And these are uh, scraper bars that just fit in there. And I guess what that does is, as it's milling, if any grains are a little bit damp and it rolls around and it sticks to the roller, this will knock it back down. So you got one for each side. Um, you can see one side side is cut here, it's blank here. You can see where it fits right in there. And then, so this is if you're making a ton of grain, you know, or flake, flake grains, and the heavy duty gears. And this is your hopper, which just fits really nice on there. So, and that's probably what most people do is have this small hopper on here. So yeah, that's it. Uh, um, been waiting to get it shipped pretty quickly. Now I just got to see how a motor does on it, and that's that.